listen to powerful messages, music chant prayer declaration here on Christian Empowerment Network. Swallow your pride tonight. Wherever you are. Catherine Kuhlman died a long time ago. The hand of God, the hand of God is here. Now go, Holy Ghost, go. We say, Holy Ghost, go. Lord and His Majesty, the one I serve, I pray over. Oh, you are saturated by God. He will be the one to operate your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's actually how God speaks it's to a lot human. of people. You know, you may be always waiting for somebody. I saw us just kneeling before the Lord. on you for 70 days we have raised a sacrifice of praise now we offer up worship let your fire fall now let your fire fall now as we proclaim you Emmanuel move in this place move among the seven candlesticks lift your hands Ima, 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 shared that word that the new generation was rising keep playing the progression because while I was seated there praying in the spirit I saw that a new breed of psalmists were rising 
and I'm going to ask the Lord that as I blow my trumpet, He will take some of what He has placed on my life. And I believe from those of other generous ministers to place on certain people. So if you feel a call of God to stand before Him to minister in songs, this moment is for you. As I blow my horn, let it be a sound of enrollment. Father, you call me, you ordain me. I remember 12 of you ministry Shobolu Lagos playing the piano and a mantle rested on my head. And a man of God who had never called me before said, Nathaniel, the hand of the Lord is upon you from today. Conduct yourself accordingly. Lord, will you do that again tonight? Let your hand rest upon your handmaidens and your son. At the sound of the trumpet, for those that you have called, for those you have ordained, let today be the day that you mark them. Let the day be the day that you raise them. As I blow my horn, something will happen in this place.
Call his name. Call his name. Extol him. God of Potter City. God of Ghana. Call his name. Bless his name. Tell you about this song. Two years ago, we were in church. We had our prophetic worship service called Swap. As we were ministering unto the Lord, He broke out on us with this name. Somebody say Yahweh Sabaoth. Say Adonai Sabaoth. That name appears about. 300 times in scripture about 300 times that was what David invoked when he came against Goliath who is this uncircumcised Philistine trying to defy the armies of God he says you've come against me with spears, shield and sword but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts the one who breaks out the God of the armies of the heavens and the earth. I don't know the battle you came with from your father's house. I don't know the strong man from your mother's house. But there is one that stands by me as a mighty warrior. Where are the warriors? Can you stand? So when that name, listen, when that name broke out on us, I got invited to Israel. For the festival of in gathering and i flew into israel spent barely 18 hours blew the horn and left five days later the war broke out and i said to the lord why would the war broke out break out after i blew the trumpet and then i remember the scripture that says if the trumpet makes an uncertain sound who will go to war and I realized that the Lord was sending, was repeating his name as a man of war because it was wartime. Can I give you two minutes to stir up your spirit? I know Ghana can pray in tongues. This is a land of prophetic prayer. I want you to join yourself two by two, two by two. Before we sing this song, I want you to blast in tongues out loud. Because we are going to call his name Yahweh Sabao. Open your mouth. Those mountains will dissolve. We come in the name of the Lord of hosts. Is that all you can do, Ghana? Is that all? <laughs> This is your moment to shape your destiny. Can you shift the gear? Clap your hands and praise the spirit. All over this place. Can we raise a storm? A prayer storm? A praise storm? Can you send prayer to 2025? I thought this was Porter City. I thought you were a prophetic company. Because we are going to call that day. One more minute. Things are going to shift in your families. Things are going to shift in Porter City. Things are going to shift in your nation. Send prayer to your village. Send it to your hometown. We are going to call that name. Aha! Aha! Let 
let the spirit of supplication fill this place. We cancel every appointment of untimely death. Let the sign of the prisoners come to thee according unto the greatness of thy power. Preserve those who are appointed to die. Our God is a God of salvation. To him belongs every issue of rescue from death. Are you ready? Jesus 
sound of breakthrough. It's a sound of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the sound. Let the sound. Let the sound. Let the sound. Fill in the gaps. Let the sound. Of restoration. Let the sound. Of revival. Let the sound. Of promotion. Let the sound. Of those scholarships. Let the sound. Of kingdom marriages. Let the sound. Of billions. Let the sound. Of glory. Let the sound. Of babies. Let the sound. Of a new season. of the year between now and 31st December as you begin to dance and jump and Miracles through praise. I have seen God lift people. I had a testimony on Saturday. A friend of mine was telling me I was weeping through the instrument of praise. Let me say it again. There are 50 people here. David danced. Before the Ark of the Covenant. And he told Bika, I'm dancing before the God who gave me your father's throne. In the next two minutes, as you jump, as you shout, let the God of the 11th hour. Let the call of the levels out. One more minute. Hey. What the enemy meant for evil. What the enemy meant for evil. As you dance. Hey, Belisa, hey. Hey, Belisa, hey. 
God has taught, by His mercy has taught me some secrets of praise. We are not just shouting. We are making a statement in the atmosphere. I say you are making a statement for your future. I can see the next Nathaniel Bassi. Do see. Dramatic. I can see the next senators. I can see them. I can see them. Jesus here. Jesus here. In your special way. What was impossible? You make possible. Jesus here. Now we're going to close with that. We're going to close with that, but pass to us. The prophet has asked me to do something. Something very important. Now, thousands of people have gathered to listen to some young men and women singing, showing forth God's glory. Do you know why that has happened? Because once upon a time, Jesus did something to their hearts. Let me tell you a quick story about myself. Young people, can you honor this man of God? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I'm a youth pastor, pastor for about 10, 11 years. So my heart always leaps when I see young people. It takes grace to gather them like this. It takes grace. Can you see the, the energy that would have been wasted? So every time I see young people, my heart leaps. But let me tell you, let me tell you, you better stop looking down on yourself. You see this man you're looking at? He picked me up from the Mary Clay, set my feet upon the rock. I'm standing in his righteousness. He took away my sin and shame. Gave me a brand new name, Jeroba. He's beloved and he redeemed. See how he's turned this boy around, village boy. Make me a global phenomenon. His glory to reveal. Listen, that's why I tell you there's hope for you. I don't care about your family background. Let me tell you, the cross of Jesus is a leveler. It's a leveler. The blood of Jesus is a leveler. He picked me up. I had this gift of blowing the trumpet. The first day I saw the trumpet, I blew it. People were wondering. I was not even born again. But well, he picked me then, even then. It was since while we were what? Yet sinners. Then I began to grow up. I had my ambitions. I began to listen to a lot of jazz. Miles Davis, Chiolinos Monk, Arturo Sandoval, all of these guys. I was literally eating and drinking and sleeping music. So I had this ambition to be a great improviser. I began to walk towards it. I joined a band. I joined a couple of bands. I applied for the Berkeley College scholarship. Best. If you know Berkeley, Berkeley is like the Harvard of contemporary music. Then they gave me a scholarship. They gave 
about four of us and they didn't give one person that was my dream all this while I was still a church musician see you can be in church but you are not in Christ I was playing in the choir but I never really had an encounter with Jesus I won the scholarship then the Lord began to draw me then I surrendered my life to Jesus just when we were about to go to the American embassy God said that's not my will for you I say what America Berkeley College scholarship he said that's not my plan I didn't listen then we went to the embassy then a document that was not supposed to be there entered and because of me they didn't give everybody somebody say Jonah say Jonah uh -huh. if you are on your way to doing what God has not sent you may the angel of the Lord intervene and intercept some of you are in ungodly relationship God is not there tonight we, the, the axe is put to this to the root we severe you from destiny killers then I surrender to Jesus I surrender something happened when I met Jesus something happened when I met this Jesus something fresh something new something words could not explain something happened when I met the Son Jesus the Son of God Let me tell you what the gospel is in a nutshell. Man wronged God. Man was destined for hell. But God loved man so much. The only thing that could suffice was him coming down himself in the form of his son. He took your place, took your punishment on the cross. He was humiliated so that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that everything he did on the cross was true and was for you on the authority of his word you will be saved and when that happens your destiny becomes activated for in him we live we move and have our being now if you are here tonight and you know you don't really have a, a definite relationship I mean an encounter with the risen Christ every eye closed, head bowed because I'm about to sing Jesus see here we're about to celebrate and then blow the horn wherever you are, only those people I want you to raise both hands both hands both hands don't be ashamed something will happen to you tonight now ushers can you help me where are the ushers, are there cards See what God is doing. Raise both hands. Pastor Nath, I came with my girlfriend here. So what am I going to do? Jesus has taken over. You are a new man. Please raise your hands. Raise your hands. Are there cards? Ushers, answer me. Are there cards? This is it. Okay, if, if, there, if, if there aren't cards, you're going to say this prayer with me. Remember Romans 10, 8 to 10. With the heart we believe unto righteousness and with the mouth we confess. Confession is made unto salvation. So you are going to say with me out loud. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Thank you for coming, for dying for me. I acknowledge I am a sinner in need of salvation right now I confess you as my Savior and my Lord 
wash me with your blood break the power of sin of hell and the grave I declare before heaven and your saints tonight that I am born again my sins are forgiven I belong to Jesus and I am born again now those of you who have raised your hands you're going to place both hands on your head let me pray for you what a privilege you've given me to pray listen to powerful messages music chant prayer declaration here on Christian Empowerment Network swallow your pride tonight wherever you are Captain Kuhlman died a long time ago the hand of God the hand of God is here now the Holy Ghost we say Holy Ghost Lord and His Majesty the one I serve I pray over my oh, Lord you are saturated by God he will be the one to operate your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's actually how God speaks to a lot of people. You know, you may be waiting for somebody.